Snap. Big pigs. Like, now. Right here. Good deal. Welcome back to Hoyam Outdoors. As you can see, we're out on the lake this morning, about 5.30 a.m., Memorial Day weekend. Me and Lou, and the POS. We're gonna get into them. You guys haven't seen us fish together in quite some time now. Lou's been putting the clinic on this week without me, so hopefully there's still a few in here. Gonna be fishing the bridge like usual. I'm gonna show you guys the the rig we're using when I get rigged up here. Got some nice three four inch chubs we're using for bait. And big post spawn walleyes are in here, hungry as hell. It's the hope anyway. It's supposed to be pretty calm today, so you won't hear much wind noise, which is perfect. But it also means bluebird sky, no wind. It reminds me of opener when we had two fish on Saturday, so. Hopefully it's not uh, like opener. If you guys seen that video, go check it out up here. So, I'm gonna get my rod in the water, and hopefully... Gonna throw your rod in the water. <laughs> gonna throw my rod in the water and go home here. Hopefully you guys see us catch some pigs today. Stay tuned. Not very big. Here you go, for a one. Yep. Nice eater, I think. Oh, Gary. <laughs> I had to set the hook, he frickin' took off when he bit it. Nice fish. Nice 20 and a half. Yeah, 21. Twenty one and three quarters. Going in the red cooler. Yep. First fish of the day. What the hell's going on? I don't think so. I think he's gonna go in there regardless though. Yeah, he's gonna die. Lid, open. You think I make it to the 12 inch range? I bet he's 14. Fourteen. Big pigs. Like, now. Right here. Good deal, hang on. Ready? Get that pig for me, Gary. <laughs> I think so. Give me some, Gary. That was a horse shit nut job if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, God, he's big. I'm gonna hold the boat or you got Broke it? my finger. I think I should be able to get her. Oh. The 30 inch body. Might not be that long, though. 
29 and 7 eighths again? I think she's going to go over, Gary. You think so? Yep. Oh, really? Oh. That's it? Pinch your tail. 28 and 3 quarter. Things 9 pounds, though. I, I would say 10. You got a steel in here? Yep. Hold her out. Big pig, so I am outdoors. Nine, four, five, my guess. I'm gonna say nine. Oh, wow. <laughs> nine, seven, eight. All right, let's get the release on this big girl. That pig, Lou. Explain what you're doing on these pillars here. Well, it's a little bit easier to control the bolt at this bridge. Just kind of tie the chain out and you close the bottom. As close to the pillar as possible in there. The bait collectively swims around the pillars down there, so that's why these fish come in here. And if you can get it down there in there, accessible for them. Sometimes they'll reach out into the current and grab it. Sometimes they'll head for open water. Sometimes they'll just sit there with it. And she sat there with it and allowed me to get the camera gear turned on. Cool current scenes throughout these pillars here. You can dangle your bait in that current scene most of the time and just snap it with the And there was one laying there. She drilled it. Oh my god. Gary? There's a 30. There's a 30. Jesus. <laughs> the same fish. Oh my god, you guys. a little bit longer. So, she ain't 30 though. Barely hooked. Don't lose her here. Get out of there. Jesus Lucas. 29 and a quarter. Half of her wasn't tails. Her tail wasn't screwed up. She's got daily sex. <laughs> Lucas is putting the goddamn clinic on again. Let's get the release. Tie on the bolt. <laughs> I haven't had a bite. <laughs> Fighting like a walleye. Sure feels good though. Yeah, there's the head shakes. Oh! What the f am I doing wrong? There's no bite marks. Just a little bit. Oh my god, that's got to be a big sheephead. Lay your rod down and get bit. And I'm sitting here 
a foot off bottom and I can't get bit. You don't want sheep heads, do you? I want to catch a fish. How's it going, Gary? Oh, I haven't had a bite. Real. Pointamountdoors.com if you're like me and can't catch fish. We just got back over here to the bridge we started at this morning. Join us. We're going along now. And uh, we haven't been fishing for five minutes in Brooklyn caught a sheep head. So I haven't had a bite. We've already beaten Gary for the day. And then uh, I was sitting over here by the edge of the bridge. And just you're not recording. Missed a giant. Is there a red dot? So. Is there? Yeah. Oh, I didn't see it. She raked the piss out of my mail, so hopefully she bites again. Promising the wind's changing here and stuff, so you guys stay tuned. <laughs> If anyone has a 25 horse short shaft motor for sale for like $200, let me know. I'm in search of. How was that, Lou? It was good. For for the you. first hour. For you. Barry got into them. Got 21 and 3 quarter and a 14. Going in the. Hot oil later. Any game wardens watching this video, this isn't lake water, this is water from home transporting bait. So we're out of here. It's a little afternoon. Very slow after the first couple bites this morning. I never had a bite. We're gonna go home, clean these fish, take a little nap, and have some supper and come out this evening and hopefully catch some more. That'll be a new video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash the like button, subscribe, and uh, if you're looking to get some Hoyam Outdoors merch, the same Hoyam Outdoors, soon to be. I'm gonna get some new hats soon. HoyamOutdoors.com, go get you some. If you want a nice rod, anywhere from $100 to $400, let me know. Thanks for watching.